I'll start this video with a prediction. Ethan Page will become a champion by the end of this year. Now that I got this off my chest, let's talk about some interesting things about All Ego Ethan Page. Number 10. His favorite wrestlers growing up. Ethan Page has admitted that he doesn't have the flashiest in ring moveset, and the thing is, he doesn't need to. He has tons of charisma and he was inspired by three men. The Rock, Razor Ramon and Macho Man Randy Savage. He has stated the following, and I quote, I'm taking things from all of my favorites and trying to blend them into something original for 2022 and look like a star. I don't have the most acrobatic or breathtaking attacks in the ring, but I can take your breath away just by looking at the camera. I can catch people's attention with my outfits, my accessories, my smile. I've got the best smile in professional wrestling. So I'm looking to be a global superstar and I know that's not a word that AEW likes to push around, because we're professional wrestlers, but I disagree. I want to be a worldwide global star on all entertainment across the globe. Number 9. He never wears the same shirt twice. You heard that one right, Ethan has a rule and he never breaks it. Even if he wears a shirt for a 30 second promo, or even a YouTube interview, he'll never wear it again, at least on TV. He might wear it on a family gathering or something. He's not superstitious about it, he just wants to offer something slightly different every time you see him on your screen, even if that's his shirts, which by the way are awesome. However, he's superstitious about the next one. He's a huge Marvel fan and he's always wearing either Doctor Strange socks or Deadpool socks. He has said the following, and I quote, I have two pairs, and I have to double layer my socks because I ordered a pair of crappy boots from Mexico that sucked. It's not even a ritual thing, but I think maybe it's like a superstitious thing. I remember when I had to get a new pair of boots. I was heartbroken. I thought my career was over. I had worn those boots for the last 12 years. They were like good luck. So I thought a new pair of boots would be a jinx. Number 8. The legendary match that everyone wants to see. We've mentioned this one on our Brian Cage video as well, but it's too viral of a meme not to mention it again, alongside Ethan's response. So, Ethan Page vs. Brian Cage, versus Adam Page versus Christian Cage inside a steel cage etc etc. When Chris Van Vliet asked Ethan when are we going to see this match, Ethan laughed and said that what's already been done is, Ethan Page versus Christian Cage on Rampage, so we're slowly getting there. Number 7. Ethan Page's YouTube Channel. Many wrestlers are also YouTubers, but not everyone is successful. It mainly comes down to being entertaining and consistent with the uploads, and Ethan is both. That's why he has 85,000 subscribers as we speak. His content is in vlog format, and his main thing is toy figure hunt with fellow all elite wrestlers. Ethan has a huge collection and it's not limited to just pro wrestling figures. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this week's vlog, a very special nerd edition. Uh, you could tell by my attire. Uh, so this week I take out all over this room and created uh, the monster that is known as Julian's Bad Cave. Number 6. His Pro Wrestling Career Before AEW Page debuted on November 12, 2006, and he has worked for many companies throughout the years. He started wrestling for the local Canadian Indies, and later on he hit the road. He formed a tag team with Michael Elgin, and Ethan has stated that he learned a lot from him, and he's even called him his mentor. Ethan wrestled for many indie promotions including AAW, PWG and Evolve, and he won many tag team titles along the way. He also worked a number of matches for Ring of Honor in 2014, under the name Ethan Gabriel Owens. Fast forward a few years later to 2017 and Impact Wrestling. After a relatively uneventful two-year run, he reunited with one of his old tag team partners Josh Alexander. The North, formerly known as Monster Mafia, defeated Santana and Ortiz to become the new Impact Tag Team Champions. The duo retained the titles for over a year, until they lost them against Alex Shelley and Chris Sabine, but they regained the titles at Bound for Glory, and lost them again a few weeks later against the Good Brothers. And this was the beginning of the end. Ethan started blaming Josh for their losses, the two broke up and we also had the genesis of the Karate Man. Number 5. All Egos Alter Ego. The quarantine was a tough time for everyone, including professional wrestlers. Many of them were unable to leave their areas in order to attend shows, and Ethan was one of them. Instead of complaining about the situation, Page used this time creatively and he created a new character, an alter ego known as Karate Man. 
He made cinematic videos in his home and he admitted that during that time he even thought of getting a 9 to 5 job so that he could pay the bills. Thankfully, his channel started to pick up, and long story short, he later joined All Elite Wrestling and life's never been better. Oh, did I mention that he was written off from Impact with Karate Man ripping Ethan's heart out? You can't make this stuff up. Number 4. Ethan is actually a Karate Man. Many times in professional wrestling, the gimmicks of the performers have ties to real-life situations. For example Britt Baker is an actual dentist, and Ethan Page has a black belt in karate and also in taekwondo, so you definitely don't want to piss him off, cause he might summon the real karate man. Number 3. His personal life. Ethan is married and has two children. I don't want to dig into his personal life too much, but what's worth mentioning is that his wife has always been supportive of his career path. It's very important to have someone who supports you and helps you achieve your dreams. And a little personal story here, I've experienced the opposite of that many times in my life. Even my parents and ex-girlfriend were roasting me for trying to make it as a YouTuber, so hearing that Ethan is married to a supportive person really warms my heart. It's getting emotional here, so let's talk about. Number 2. His height, real name and more. Let's go through some general information before we watch some funny moments. Ethan's real name is Julian Masevsky. He was born on September 20, 1989, which means he just turned 33 years old. He stands at 6 feet 2 inches tall, or 188 centimeters. As we mentioned earlier, Ethan is Canadian, from Ontario to be exact. Number 1. Some of his funniest moments. As we mentioned earlier, Ethan is a big YouTuber and his vlogs are always entertaining. And I've noticed that everyone has their own quote-unquote roster. For example some people appear mostly on Sammy's vlogs, others mainly on Being the Elite, and some on Ethan's channel. Anyway, let's see some of his best moments. Yeah, I also have a disappointing look. You look like shit, Dan. <laughs> Send me that picture, Speedy. Send me that sad face. Adam. Fellow Paige. Oh, hey. Cousin. Didn't see you there. <laughs> Nothing like a white noise machine make you feel like you're at home with a newborn baby. <laughs> Here we go. So I told Scorpio I wanted to get these very specific glasses. Uh -oh. Trying to play with a dog. Yeah, well, dude, hey, Eddie, you got to see these shades. Look at the dog. Please. I think the hardest thing I'm gonna have to do today is decide which pair of Versace glasses I'm gonna wear that Scorpio got me. Yep, that was a real sentence. Let's go to dynamite. <laughs> hey, hi. Do you know why there's caution tape over these chairs? No. Because last night in my six-man tag, nobody needed a seat to sit on. Oh. 